you want to be a better designer, you need to practice your design skills. But what is the best way to practice? In this video, we're going to discuss just that. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another week of Designer Mind where I share strategies about how to become a better designer. Now last week I've asked on my Instagram, what would be, what would help you become a better designer and what do you need to become a better designer? And so many people said you need to practice, practice, practice. And while I do think that is, this is true, I think you need to be very much aware about how you're practicing and what you're doing and how you consider practicing in order to make sure that you really build the skills that you need to have as a designer in order to succeed. So you might have heard about the concept of the 10,000 hours, which was uh, popularized by Malcolm Gladwell, um, which basically said that, you know, if you want to be world class at something, you have to put 10,000 hours in. And I think a lot of people know this kind of a general um, or have kind of a an assumption that if they'll put the hours in, they'll become experts. But one of the notions that Malcolm Gladwell was talking about in the book was the notion of deliberate practice. So it's not just putting down the hours, it's doing them deliberately in order to try to improve yourself. So now, like if I'm going to play tennis, you know, three times a week with my friends, um, and I'll do, do that for years, I'll have 10,000 hours, that doesn't mean I'm going to become, you know, the grand master, whatever, best in the world at playing tennis. This, I can practice that, um, but I'm not going to get better and better and better. You need to have a strategy for deliberate practice in order to progress and make sure that you always grow. So some of those components is practicing with the intention of fixing something or improving something. And the way to do that is to, first of all, focus your effort on that specific thing and then getting feedback on it, make, keeping track on how did you perform doing that specific task, getting feedback and keeping track if you're actually improving over time. So let's take that now into the design world. So when you are as a designer, what is what does it mean to practice as a designer? There's a lot of skills that you need to master if you want to be a successful designer. Some of them are, let's say, the skills of the craft. So you need to have skills and you need to practice things like layout and typography and, uh, and, and colors and, you know, visual hierarchy. So those are skills that you need to practice, practice, practice. Then again, that's basically, I don't know if it's even half of what actually a designer does. So you need to have, if you're going to be working with clients or teammates as a designer, you need to practice those skills. And those are communication skills, negotiation skills, working with other people, you know, selling your design ideas. Those are skills that you need to improve. And everything else, like solving problems, understanding, you know, how to use your experience. And so there's so many skills that you need to build. It might be overwhelming at first, but you need, if you want to practice and you want to grow, you need to have a selected focus and say, all right, now my focus is to improve my, let's say, typography. What can I do to improve that? How does, how do I know that I'm improving in that um, in that specific skill. Um, what metrics can I use, and what feedback can I get in order to know that I'm getting better and better at this? And again, because there's a lot of skills, um, a lot of skills, each of them you'll have to develop a different st practice strategy to get better at them. But I think the core the core of what you should what should um, guide you throughout your design practice. And it's okay. I know you can't tackle all skills at the same time, but you should be mindful of, first of all, there are a variety of skills. You know, you can, um, you can practice on improving your design skills. Let's say your craft design, your graphic design skill on self-initiated projects, right? You can improve your layout and typography by doing self-initiated uh, projects, but then you're only practicing that. If you're not going to 
uh, work with real clients, you're not going to practice your real client interactions. And so you're not, go not going to be a balanced design, let's say that. So the first one is to understand you need to practice all of these things um, and spend time working on each of them. Then you're going to have to think, how am I improving? Who am I getting feedback from? Do I get feedback from my clients? Do I get feedback from other designers? You need to ask for that feedback and be mindful that if you want to improve that thing, you need feedback on how you performed doing that task. And you need to keep track of metrics. How long did it take me to um, finish that project? How much money did I earn do, uh, doing that project? How uh, much, you know, how satisfied were my clients that I, uh, when I completed that project? Once you keep track of those metrics, you can know over time that you've improved, but you have to understand and decide on your metrics to keep track on. If you're not keeping track on your metrics, you know, imagine you're playing tennis and you're not keeping score. How do you know that you're getting better? You don't know. So you have to keep track on the score if you want to make sure that you're succeeding. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you can keep practicing and become better and better designer. If you have other questions or struggles or strategies for your practicing design, share them in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video.